Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to take a good look at the 2018 Cadillac XT5. It's their SUV. They're coming out with a new one, but it's not out yet. It's called XT4. I just looked. They have it up on the site, but it's not, it's, it's not, you can't build it yet. And they don't really have any information. They just kind of want you to opt in, you know, give your email address so they can keep you updated and start marketing to you, basically. Uh, but as soon as that one comes up, we're going to take a look at it. It's probably a little bit, obviously a little bit smaller than this one if it's the four. Um, so this one starts at $40,000 though. I think it's super attractive. I've liked it from, from the moment I saw it. Uh, it's no, it's no, uh, secret that I really like Cadillac products in general. So Cadillac, if you're listening, send me a Cadillac CTSV. I'd be happy to test drive it for like six months. Um, <laughs> but let's look at this one. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to scroll down this page. We're going to get a good overview, get all the highlights of this vehicle. Then we're going to click off. We're going to go to the features and trims and specs and get all that good information so we get a good overview and really learn about what this what the XT5 is all about, right? Beyond its 310 horsepower, five passengers, and 63 cubic feet. So we're going to really de uh, delve down deep. And then when we get done doing all that, we're going to go to the build and price tab. We're going to build out, well, we'll probably build out all the models, right? We'll build out all the models. There'll be what, like, Four, maybe four trim levels or so. We'll build out all of them, and then uh, and then we'll wrap up the video. And then when I build those, I download those PDFs, and then I upload them to a file sharing site, and so that gives me links. And so I'll put the links to these uh, PDFs to the builds in the description below. So if you want to get those, that's all you got to do. Just scroll down and click on those in the description. So let's look at this beautiful vehicle. I really love uh, what Cadillac is doing. You know, they're really, they've got a German feel to them. They really, they do, because I can't remember the guy's name, but he was from Audi, and he's over. he was over there. I think he's on his way out now, but he's been over there for a while, and so I guess he's probably the proponent behind all of this. So, outmaneuver all that lies ahead. Versatility that makes a statement, right? The 2018 Cadillac XT5, it's the most sophisticated and refined crossover they've ever created. Yeah, we know, and it's good looking. This shifter reminds me very much of a BMW to me. Um, nice seats, tailored for comfort, authentic materials, carefully curated. Uh, it's got a nice uh, rear end with uh, integrated uh, exhaust outlets built for all occasions, intelligent all-wheel drive. Is that standard or is that optional, the all-wheel drive? I'd really like to know. A lot of manufacturers seem to make it optional their all-wheel drive so if cadillac has made theirs standard then they they're already one up already uh an extra set of eyes available lane change alert with si side blind zone alert rear cross traffic alert and reverse automatic braking right so they've got a bunch of op options here because they say available that lets you know that it's options right now they didn't say that here but then again they didn't also well yeah, they didn't say that here. They didn't say available intelligent all-wheel drive. They could have said that very easily, but they did not. Sort of kind of leads me to believe that maybe, maybe all-wheel drive is included. But we'll see. Uh, over here are some of their acc accolades or whatever you call that. You know, their kudos that they've been getting uh, for, this, for this particular vehicle. What is this? The IIHS Superior Rear Crash Prevention. Uh, when equipped with optional driver assist package. And then it's got a five-star overall vehicle score for safety when equipped with optional all... Oh, there's our answer. Optional all-wheel drive. Just got to dig a little bit. Optional all-wheel drive. So that's not standard. That's going to cost us a couple of bones, but we're going to get it because I think it's stupid to have an SUV without all-wheel drive. Uh, the 2018 crossover style and versatility. So we can explore all features, explore uh, and view the gallery. Um... Let's finish this page, and then we'll do that, because we can get to those tabs from up here. Let's finish the page. We're about halfway down it. Uh, so the interior is gorgeous. Kind of looks like the interior, well, looks like the interior of the Cadillac um, uh, Escalade, right? This just kind of reminds me, just this the, the pattern sort of kind of reminds me of Escalade. And then, and it, well, we've got a few colors here. Well... Let's see, XT5 Platinum trim shown, right? They've got a, let's go back to this. I said Cadillac Escalade, and then I noticed that the XT, XTS, when you get the Platinum trim, these seats look like this, and I think the CT6 has the same deal. 
I'm not knocking the seats. I think they're very attractive. All right, so they're showing the X-T5 Platinum here. Um, and then over here in Jet... So this is Jet Black 2, and this is Jet Black as well. I don't know why they have showing it in two ways. Maybe they're just showing Jet Black from the seating position, and then Jet Black looking at the dashboard. And looking at the dashboard, you can see some kind of goldish carbon fiber deal here. Looks like that's leather stitching, leather dash. That looks like leather with stitching here. Um, you've got definitely some kind of, this looks like analog gauges here. Maybe they're not analog, meaning that they're, they could be digital, but they look like they're real analog with a real you know needles there. But this could be a digital information cluster right there. Then you've got your, your Q system here. You got your, your your heating controls, big pocket there. Is that is that a wireless charging? I don't know. Then you've got some settings down here, some buttons down here. It's a good looking good looking vehicle. I really like it. Now here's the exterior. Oh wait a minute, we forgot to look at it uh, in maple sugar with black accents. So here's that shot, and the wood veneer looks very nice. I don't know if you caught that, but the woods look very nice. Now let's go over here, and so it's just going to show the other shot. Now that's attractive. Now that definitely looks like an all leather dashboard. All and that's kind of that's kind of where everybody is now. That's where you are. If you're building a seventy thousand dollar vehicle, boy, if you don't have leather on that dash, it awfully sure better look like it. And look at this. This kind of looks like suede Alcantara, the headliner over here. You can kind of catch some of the headliner on this A pillar, and that certain certainly looks like that. Uh, down here, it's very dark, but I can see like cross drilled holes is. Like it's a sporty like pedal, right? I could be wrong because the lighting's poor on purpose, I guess. But uh, it looks like a sporty brake pedal, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Um, all right. So the trim levels, I, I was right. I was right. There we go. So we got the standard. That's the one that's $40,000. That comes, and they all have the same engine. It's worth noting. They all have the same engine, which is the three points, and it's, it's GM's, well, Cadillac's, and I don't know if GM shares the exact same motor in the exact same trim um, with Chevrolet and Buick, but this in this particular version, it's 310 horse, 271 pound-feet of torque. That's across all the trim levels. It's got an eight-speed transmission. That's across all trim levels. Now, the Q, now, every one of them gets Q, but they I'm sure that the Q at this base level is not the Q, certainly at, say, well, what is this one? This is the, the Platinum, right? You've got Luxury, Premium Luxury, Platinum, and then you've got the Standard. So you've got eight-way adjustable front driver's seat, power tilt and tel telescoping steering column, uh, and it's power. Rear vision camera, rear park assist, 18-inch wheels. You've got a Bose system, at least, eight speaker, and you've got the option to do the all-wheel drive with the heated front seats, all right? Is there anything below that? No. Well, what's below that? Just some offers. Okay, so on the luxury trim, which is basically, what, another $6,000, that includes everything that the XT that the base XT5 has, plus you get an UltraView power sunroof. And when we get over to features, we're going we're gonna to see some of these things, I'm sure. Uh, leather seating surfaces with driver and front passenger heating. Are you telling me that there's no leather seats on, the, on this one for $40,000? I guess we're going to find out because we're going to build all of them. 18-inch wheels, the memory package, the heating, uh, the heating and uh, heated and power adjustable outside mirrors, heating steering, heated steering wheel, cargo management system, lane change alert with side blind zone alert. That's cool that that's bundled into that. Uh, take note that uh, I don't always read everything. So if this is your first time watching this, any of my builds. Note that you could always pause the video momentarily if I'm moving a little fast so you can get in whatever you wanted to read and then you can unpause and then we can keep going together. All right, so if for another, oh, for another 7,000-ish dollars and change, you can move up to the premium luxury, which includes everything we've talked about. Plus, now you got the 14-speaker bows. This is probably where most people like to come in, right, at the luxury, at the premium luxury level, although you probably see a lot of these floating around in the marketplace. I, I always like to get the top dog car, but I could see how the premium luxury could give you give a person almost everything that they wanted. Uh, you get the Q user experience with the navigation now. You got the active dampening suspension, so you got a better, better set of – you got a better suspension underneath the vehicle. You got ventilated front seats. You got a tri-zone 
automatic climate control with heated outside. You got heated seats in the back too. LED headlamps, front brakes, cornering lamps, uh, and and telebeam, 20 inch wheels as well. Okay. When you get the granddaddy, the big dog, the platinum, that gives you everything. Now even all wheel drives included. You got the eight inch reconfigurable gauge cluster that was on that center stack we saw. Where was that? Right here. That's probably right there. I'm guessing. I'm guessing. Um, the semi aniline full leather seats, 20 inch 12 spoke wheels, so a different set of wheels, different set of wheels, uh, 20 inch wheels, leather wrapped instrument panel, and door trim. Okay, so only the leather, only the platinum gets the leather wrapped probably instrument panel. Well, it says instrument panel, so maybe it's this whole thing too, because that surely looks leather wrapped. Uh, reconfigurable 8-inch color gauge cluster, yep, heads-up display, surround vision, hands-free liftgate. Platinum's what I'm always about, so I would tell you to get the Platinum, but I think the Premium Luxury is good. Even the Luxury is pretty good. I like the Platinum Luxury, but that's the spoiler alert already, but let's go to the features and see if we can learn about some of these things that they were mentioning, okay, over there in the highlights page. All right, so the interior... Uh, fitted with XT5 cabin with authentic materials like natural woods, cut and sewn leather, and suede. Then punctuated them with aluminum and carbon fiber accents for a rich yet understated feel. Yeah, it's good looking. Comfort and control, leather wrap steering wheel, power tilt, telescoping, available heated. And you can get a, a heated version of this steering wheel. Uh, reconfigurable space, ultra view sunroof. So they call it. What, what everybody else seems to call panoramic roof, they call the ultra view, all right, because uh, they got to be different. See less interior features. Well, that was, wasn't a whole bunch. Uh, exterior style to turn heads. I think it's pretty good looking. I mean, yeah, I think it's pretty good looking. I, I definitely want mine with the 20-inch wheels on there at the very least, uh, but it's very good looking. I, I love the Cadillac design uh, in the signature grill, the crest. I like how they've changed this from the wreath to whatever you, they call this now, uh, and it, it, it's very good looking. Uh, these 20-inch alloys, the visionary lighting is gorgeous. I love the illuminated door handles. I mean, what's not to like? I mean, seriously. Hands-free lift gate, uh, that's awesome. The memory function height function, the memory height function lets you program its opening height to ensure a perfect fit in any space. So say you got a low garage door, whatever, who knows? That's pretty cool that you can at least program that, that they thought that far out, right? At least the thinking was there. All right, so let's see some stuff about safety. Lane Keep Assist they have. Um, it's available. It's an option. Lane Keep Assist with Lane Departure Warning helps you stay in your driving lane. Lane Change Alert with Side Blind Zone Alert, right? This is another option. This, uh, this monitors your blind spots and flashes a warning when it detects vehicles hidden from view. I guess probably in your mirror, your rear side mirror or something like that, like a lot of them do. Surround vision. What's this all about? Uh, it's an available system. Another option. Uh, provides a bird's eye view of the area immediately surrounding the vehicle when in low speed drive or reverse. This view projected on the Cadillac user experience screen helps increase your awareness when parking. All right. Cool. Pedestrian braking, front pedestrian braking, available. It's an option. Scans the road, and it alerts you. Or <laughs> if you don't stop and you've gone too far, so it thinks, it'll do it for you, right? But you better always be looking at the road, I suppose, right? Yeah, of course. Safety alert seat. What's that? Uh, it sends a discreet pulse to the left, right, or both sides of you, <laughs> of your butt, of the driver's seat, indicating the direction of potential danger. Oh, cool. So if, if something is on your left, then you're going to get a little vibration on the left side of that seat. Very cool. Uh, rear cross-traffic alert. I love this feature a lot. Say you're at the grocery store and you're backing out of your aisle. You know people are flying either direction. This thing's looking for you, so it's going to alert you, right? That's super cool. Super, super cool. Um... Let's see. Yeah. And then down here, they got the they have the uh, the legal fine print. They're like, hey, look, we've got this safety stuff. But uh, look, buddy, you're, it's you're still your responsibility to operate this vehicle in a safe manner. Yeah, we know. Well, I guess they feel the need that you still got to tell some folks. Right. Infotainment, the Q user experience. Right. 
He's got entertainment. So you got apps, maps, weather, music. Uh, then your connected stuff is navigation with real time traffic updates. Then you got phone, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto compatibility. We're not going to learn more about that. Um, what about the Apple CarPlay? And the uh, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, very, very cool. They all look the, the all the systems are the same, no matter the manufacturer, because Apple controls their proprietary systems, and that's why they all look the same. But I love this stuff. It's super cool. Super, super cool. Now, me, I'm one that I'd use the maps here. If I was going to do, if I was doing directions, it'd be faster to do it through your phone, and, and it just seems more intuitive to me. I like it. But I, I give, I give the uh, the regular navigation a shot. See how it was. It might be awesome, and I'd be hoping for that. I haven't had a chance to use it. That's why I said Cadillac, send me a car to use to review for a long time. All right, Bose Studio Surround Audio. Look at the wood. Beautiful. Uh, available 14-speaker system. Uh, a bit, the Bose 14-speaker Studio Surround System features 14 speakers. It sounded so redundant, I had to reread it because I thought I messed up for exceptional sound quality. They could have thought of another way to say that but nonetheless i know the system sounds awesome cadillac has been uh or gm in general has been using bose i had a 1996 pristine cadillac or not cadillac corvette c4 white with red leather beautiful had the bose cadillac or bose gold system in it some of you guys might know that system that thing rocked so the bose systems are always awesome always awesome I have no doubt that this system delivers, even though they didn't say much. Uh, I won't hold it against them. Uh, innovative rear view camera. What's this all about? This is like a, it's like a video, right? It's yeah, HD video that expands to provide a wider, less obstructed field view. Now I test drove a 2018, yeah, I think it was a 2018 CT6 uh, Premium. Uh, wow, well, probably at the beginning of the year, towards the beginning of the year. Or late, late like December or something like that, and it had that camera, and it's awkward to get used to. Cool, but it takes probably takes more than a test drive to get used to that. I, at least it would for me. Uh, then you've got a wireless device charging, so that's conveniently located in the center console. I was pointing that out. Wireless charging can power your device anytime the XT5 is running. Some phones may require a wireless charging accessory. That's cool though. Customizable instrument cluster, right? Well, this is if you get the the platinum, but maybe you can. Maybe this is available on the premium luxury too. Perhaps I think the stuff is cool. It shows you stuff like uh, uh, your phone, the radio, navigation. That's all great. I love the heads up. I I'm a big heads up digital da digital uh, uh, digital um, speedometer guy. I love that stuff. So the heads up display, I'm all about it. All about it. Uh, performance. Smart power. This thing gets 26 highway, 19 city. And if it's got all-wheel drive, it gets 25 highway, 18 city. 310 horse, 271 pound-feet of torque. It's got some tech like active fuel management and auto stop start. Uh, that helps make it efficient. Uh, what do we got here for smooth shifts? They're going to tell us about this, what, 8-speed transmission. Um, real cool. All right. They don't really say much about it, but it's there. So the car has a transmission. Awesome. Uh, selectable drive modes. All right, touring, snow, and sport. I love when cars have these drive modes. I just think it's I just think it's fun because it makes the car it, it regears everything. It rethink it re it regears the transmission and you know it. I just think it's awesome. So this one's got the tour. You're going to use that probably in most instances. Me, I'd probably be riding sport a lot. But what that's going to do is make the transmission hold the gears longer. It's going to really make you you know incrementally burn more fuel. Really. But I would be definitely toggling between touring and sport. And then anytime it rained and all that stuff, I probably would be playing with the snow ice all-wheel drive thing or the snow all-wheel drive thing. Because I'm just like one of those people that I like. I'm techie like that, so I'd always be thinking about it. It'd be front of, front of mind for me. Uh, Real-time damping. So that's their automatic suspension. Uh, then the Stabila track is during low traction conditions like rain, snow, or gravel. Stability track automatically applies brake pressure and reduces engine torque to keep you on track and control. That's awesome. That's super awesome. Now here's the big dog, the platinum. Now this refinement made even finer. The XT5 Platinum features a unique Galvano Chrome grille, 20-inch fully polished multi-spoke aluminum wheels, 
and stainless steel front and rear skid plates to turn your every arrival into a grand entrance. Are we going to discover more about that? Yep, we are. We are going to discover more about that. Just let me finish this page first. Uh, interior and hand. Okay, so they're going to tell you a little bit more about it, but we're going to see. If we're going to get the full details. So instead of us looking at this, well, let's look at it real quick. Interior enhancements, uh, exclusive illuminated door sills. I love that stuff. Uh, it's got semi-aniline leather wrap, so a different kind of leather for the seats. Instrument panel, armrest, door trim, suede microfiber headliner. Yeah, the things. This is the one. This is the one. If you want to like compete against, to me. Even though I know the reality is, is if somebody has a X BMW X5 or the Mercedes, it's probably not that well optioned. It's probably optioned like a like the premium luxury. But if for me, if I wanted to outdo the German brand and I wanted to show my you know my Cadillac, then I'd definitely have to go with this with this platinum because it has to have everything on it for me. It has to have everything on it, like these heated and cool front row seats, heated at back seats, and tri zone climate control. That means the people in the back can, has their own buttons to control how hot or cold they want it to be in the back. That's what that means. Uh, so they're going to show the trim levels again. So real quick, let's just jump over to discover the platinum. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to do that, discover the platinum, and then we're going to go look at specs because we've already looked at the trims. But maybe we'll go over here. Well, we'll go through the gallery real fast. We'll go in order. I want to skip around, but we'll go in order. We'll look at the gallery real fast. Trims will be super fast. This will be super fast, too, as looking at the specs. And then we're going to go to build and price. But, you know, I only want to do one of these videos. I like these videos to be in-depth. And maybe you're looking at the Platinum. And I know I like the Platinum, so let's take a real quick look. I'm sure it's not that much stuff on the page. No, look. Look at that. Look how big the slider is. There's not even that much stuff. So it starts at 63000 You basically get everything, right? This is what you get. Uh, All-wheel drive. You get the reconfigurable 8-inch cluster. You get everything, that the best of Cadillac, okay? That's what I like to say. You get the best of the brand, when you get the platinum, that's why I like the platinums. You get the best of the brand, all right. You get the premium floor mats, the illuminated door sills. You get the suede microfiber headliner. That's hot. The unique platinum grill, the stainless steel skid plates, the heated, the hands-free liftgate, the the cause the unique twenty-inch wheels. Right. These are unique twenty-inch wheels. Uh, the tech. You get the rear camera mirror, the surround vision, the heads up, the safety. You got the whole tech package, the advanced security package. Right, that gives you everything: locking steering column, alarm, vehicle inclination system, uh, sensor, all that stuff. That says safety. It says safety, and then it says I was thinking about all the tech, like the safety tech, like lane keep, but then it was like security. Well, that's safety too. A selection of available features. So driver assistance package. Right, that's all your 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 tech stuff to keep you safe. Then performance, there's a trailering package. And then exterior, these are, I guess, things that are available. We can buy these things. We can option the vehicle with this, okay, and these other little trinkets. So they didn't have much. Let's go over to gallery. Let's go to gallery. Let's we'll look at all of them. Should we do slideshow? Uh, no, I'd like to know when we get to the end. Uh, so here's some interior shots. Some of these are already going to be familiar. Here's a nice shot of the back seat, though. Here's a nice shot from the back there we didn't see. Here's a nice up shot close of the shot of the cluster. Those might be real analog gauge. Those are real analog gauges, I think. Yeah, they are. Um, I think. Panoramic roof. There's your phone charger slot. Uh, right kind of under the armrest there, right? Like right down here, right? Right down there. Here's the outside, right? Illuminated door handles. Those are just so cool. This is the platinum for sure because there's that that chrome look on the skid plate. This is what they would call in the skid plate right up here in the front, right? Even though you don't want to really scratch that up. <laughs> um, good looking in black, huh? I like that. It's just good looking. I like it. It's always funny, all the people they always have in the background. They're always like all these high fashion people and this and that. I mean, they're really going after that thing, aren't they? They're really going after that. You see all that in the background? Anyway... Let's move on. That's not even the point. Let's move on. Let's move on. All right. Let's go to trims. Do we need to do that again? Let's see what that shows. Oh, they have a nice layout of it. Compare trim. So you can look at the standard, right? We can look at the standard. This tells us everything that the standard has. Now, again, now this is a part where I'm not going to read everything. If this is the trim that you're looking at and you want to see everything, I'm only going to like 
point out the highlights. This is where you should stop, pause, read everything real quick. Like, even the base model has LED daytime running lights. To me, that's a that's a metric. Because I'm, I, I, I'm looking for a certain look, style. I'm looking for a certain features at a bare minimum. So, you know, it's like if, you, if, you, if you're not sure what kind of cars to pick out and you need a car, <laughs> you got to talk to me. I'll help get you styled up right. LED daytime running lights, that's cool. You got the LED tail lamps, cool. Uh, power, at least you got the power lift gate, that's cool. Um, they even have a name for their wood, so that's cool. I'm not going to butcher it. Um, technology, you got that Bose. You got the wireless charging, even base, mo base model. Apple CarPlay. So even base model, even base model, you're looking pretty sporty. That's the, that's the takeaway real quick. You got the Stabila track. You got all the airbag stuff. What's the available features? Just throw the all-wheel drive, and you're ready to go, right? All-wheel drive, you're ready to go. Uh, the Luxury adds all that stuff, but now you got leather. So maybe that one doesn't have leather. See, that would be the deal breaker for me. If that, That's got that, that, that leather-like stuff, right? That leather-like stuff. BMW calls it Sensatech. Mercedes-Benz calls it MB Techs. I don't know what Merced, what the Audi calls theirs, but uh, yeah, I want real leather. So you get the Ultra View sunroof. So panoramic sunroof on this one, front and rear park assist technology on the luxury on the luxury version. You got the memory package. Uh, you got the lane change alert, the rear cross traffic and rain sense wipers. Those automatically just come on. Right here's a selection of available features. So you got a lot more options you can get on this one. So on the base model, they just don't let they don't give you many options. So here's all the options we can put on this thing. So we'll take a closer look when we get there. Um, that was a luxury, premium luxury. Like I said, this is fifty three grand. This is probably where a lot of folks would be. Now you got a performance suspension though. That's cool. Uh, ambient lighting on the doors. That's cool. Illuminated door handles. Oh, so you got to get to there to get illuminated door handles, huh? Okay. Um, the Bose 14 speaker. Yeah, this is this is the good one. This is the good one. Here's your available stuff that we can option it with. And like I said, we're going to take a look at all that. And then, of course, the Big Dog Platinum comes with everything except for there's like very few things, right? The driver assist package, right? I'm not towing anything with my with my with my Platinum XT5. Are you kidding me? Um, all right, let's look at specs really quick because all I really want to do, I really want to look at engine specs. That's all I really care about. It's engine specs. Uh, so let me just get down to that. Let me just get down to that. Because we already went through all that other stuff. Mechanical. Here we go. I just want to see when it's making its torque, when it's making its its horsepower. That's all. Hang on a second. Okay, well, I found it. I scrolled right by it. <laughs> you might have even seen it. They didn't really they don't say much. They don't say what I wanted them to say. I guess I could dig deeper, but I'm not going to worry about it. So it makes 310 horsepower and 275, 271 pound-feet of torque. I was just curious when it made that torque. Because if if it's up all the way up in the nosebleed at like five thousand, I mean the car is going to still feel peppy. But it's always if it's not turbo, which it isn't, um, then normally the torque's not going to be up as high, or it's the torque's going to be higher. When it's turbo, the torque is down low, and that's why some of these uh, turbocharged cars just feel so uh, sporty and peppy. But no big deal, no big deal. All right, let's let's move on. I'm going to hit the back button. I'm going to hit the back button, and we're going to go build some. All right, so here we are. On the build price and option page where we can actually spec them out. And like I said, we're going to build all trims. So I'm going to build one. I'm going to save it. Then we're going to go back, come build the next one, save it, build the next one, save it, build the next one, done. Okay. So here's the base model. If you're looking at the base model, starts at 41. Well, on this page at this time, starts at 41,590. All right. Let's scroll down. Let's get some shots real fast. Mm -hmm. Interior. Get a couple shots, right? Got it. That's a nice shot of that. All right, so we're doing the base model. I still think you should get it in four-wheel in four drive. To me, it just seems pointless to get an SUV without four-wheel drive. Pointless. All right, even if you're trying to save a buck. All right, so if you're trying to save a buck by getting one of these base models, by getting a base model, then I guess you just want to get Radiant Silver because all these other ones is, are a paid paint option. All right, so we're not gonna we're not going to worry about the the exterior color right let's go to the exterior we're not going to worry about the exterior color because we're not going to add any extra cost to that uh it only comes in one in interior it's a leatherette and it comes in sahara beige interior packages you've got that protection package oh you do have a sport package though i like that 
I like that sport package. What twenty inch all season tires? You got the nice. Uh, they update the grill. They give you better wheels. You got the little sporty spice uh, sport pedal covers. Let's yeah, show us more. All right, just make sure there's it's all in there. Nice pedals, nice pedals. Oh, look at that assist. What is this, what is this sport pedal cover? We'll, we'll look into that. Hold on, I think that's a different package. That's a different package. That's a different package. Yeah, that's down here. That's the black ice package. Black ice body moldings. We'll a la carte those side rails if we can. So let's throw the sport package on there. Now that gives us what? Right? All, assi oh, that does give us the assist steps. Okay, that, that was there. Sorry, my bad. Sport pedal cover set. Yep, good deal. That's a lot of cool stuff. $3,500. That's why I said, if you're not sure how to option your vehicle and you want to get a new one, message me. Leave a comment. Go to my about. There, you can hit me through the email. Whatever. I'll help you. Black ice package. Uh, no, we don't need that. The sport package is the way to go. Let's see if we can get a different option or angle. Are they going to show us our upgrade? Probably not. Uh, probably not. We're not going to worry about radiant package. We're not going to worry about that. We chose. You probably can't. There would be a conflict. You know, you choose probably one of three of those packages. You can't have all of them. I'm quite sure. Quite sure. Uh, this is included in the package. I'm not going to change the wheels. Uh, I'm not going to mess with the tires. Engine block heater. I don't ever really plan on this thing being outside, but you know what? I might travel in this bad boy, and you just never know. Can they? Could they install this after I buy it at the dealer? I don't know, but maybe I just throw it in. I always say no, but what the heck? I'm I'm reconsidering it after so many videos. I'm reconsidering. Maybe I will. Let me see. Uh, helps ease cold weather starts. Heats the engine and engine block fluids. You know that means your heat's going to be available right away. Wheel locks. Yep, definitely. Oh, what? No, forget it then. We'll do wheel lock some other place. Some other place. Doesn't matter. Uh, assist steps, we got it. The splash guards, the molded splash guards for the to, to prevent stuff kicking up on the car. Yes, I want those as long as I don't have to remove a package. Trailer hitch, no. Black ice, lower grill trim, no, no, no. Clear tail lamps, heck no, that looks ugly. Uh, black ice lift tailgate, no. Uh, tell me about the interior. Uh, the DVD, <laughs> pass, <laughs> pass. All-weather floor mats, premium carpeted floor mats. Yeah, let's do those, and we'll do the all-weather mats, too. And illuminated uh, front door sill plates, illuminated cargo sill. Yeah, you got to get that little stuff. That stuff's hot. That stuff's hot. That, that adds class and sophistication, man. That's upscaledness. You know what I'm saying? That's upscaledness. Premium cargo mat? No. But I, what I do need is an all-weather cargo tray because I'm worried about spills. I'm not worried about extra carpet. I'm worried about spills. Uh, emergency tool kit? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Why? Maybe. Why not? Comp oh, you got to get rid of the spare? Well, are these, are these run-flat tires? <laughs> I'm not getting rid of the spare. Forget that. I'm not getting rid of the spare. Highway safety kit? Yeah, sure. Why not? Cadillac edition first aid kit? Yeah, why not? I'll buy into the whole experience, man. Accessories, we're not going to mess with the accessories. It's all just, that's all to taste. Bike racks and whatnot. We're not messing with any of that stuff. Um, connected services, we don't mess with any of that stuff. This electronics, is, it's not specific to any cat, to any it's Cadillac models. GM throws that stuff on everything. Uh, what about this stuff? No, no. Trailer and hitch stuff. No, I'm not going to worry about any of that. Um, nope, 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 nope. We don't need any car care stuff. All right, let's go to summary. So $48,000 for this bad boy. It's 43.5. We did 34. We did that sport package. That was what this was. Sport package. We did almost two grand in options because we just nickel and dimed it. But all that's going to be here when I print it off. So let's print it off. And we're going to go back and go up to the next one, which is what? The premium? All right, hang on. Okay, we got that one saved. Let's move on to the luxury. It wasn't called premium. It was called luxury. Yeah, we know we're going to reset everything. So that that automatically jumps up to the cost of this vehicle out the door. This car out the door was $48,000. This one's 48000 Well, it's their net price. They're playing with these prices because they got all these incentives going on. So but sorry, I guess we can't even really pay too much attention to that. So we got the luxury. Now, if you remember, that includes all the stuff from the... From the uh, from the base, 
and then we get all this stuff, the ultra view. So you got the panoramic roof. Now we have leather seats. You got the memory package, the heated and power adjustable mirrors, outside mirrors, that is. The rear seat reminder, that's if stuff is back there. Lane change alert, side blind zone alert. I really like that stuff. I really like the rear cross traffic. So this one, even, even if you can incrementally go a little bit higher, this one, this one will get you in the door for all that other stuff you want. But let me see, let me see what it's gonna be. Let me see what it's gonna be. Uh after I after after we we add my special touch to it. All right, let's go to colors. Now I'm I think I'm gonna I'm gonna bust out of the uh we're gonna get out of the radiant silver. Uh, we're gonna get out of the radiant silver. I'm all down with the crystal white tricoat. I love I love the pearly white paints with the metallic. I don't care who does it. Mercedes, all those guys. I, I love that stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, interior color. Um, I'm not. I'm, I'm not into the Sahara beige. I, I'm really not. Uh, I'm not into what's with the carbon plum. What's that all about? Now, if changing carbon plum, I'd never even heard of that. Full leather seats with mini perforated inserts will also change the following. We're gonna add the. We're gonna add all this other stuff. The driver awareness package. So we're gonna add twenty two hundred dollars to this thing, basically. And it's all stuff that I would want anyway. At the end of the day, so let's. And I don't even know if I'm gonna if I want these seats, but if I if I if I hit select like I did, ooh, that's purple. Hmm. Mm, I don't want those. <laughs> I don't want those. But here's the thing: I bet you if I select the black seats, it's still gonna keep those other things that it made me add on. That's the thing. But let, I don't care. It doesn't matter. Uh, jet black. I think I want to do those. So price change. They're going to remove the ventilated driver and front passenger seat. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna lop off fourteen hundred and forty five dollars here, okay, for the all black seats. That works for me. Uh, although the plum's interesting, I can see people want. It's interesting. It's gonna be hard to resell, but interesting. All right. So driver awareness package. We had already ticked that box, and I told you it was gonna leave it there, but it's only seven hundred seventy dollars. And what all does it include? It includes all the stuff that I would want anyway, and you should probably want too. So we're going to leave it just the way it is. Advanced security package gives us the wheel locks and the theft deterrent system and all that good stuff there. I want that. Uh, yeah, $450. I want it. And you want it. Uh, interior protection package. Yeah, give us the mats, the all-weather floor mats, the all-weather cargo liner. I guess I could have saved that stuff not buying a la carte for the other one. Uh, 280 All right, yeah. Cargo convenience package. I don't need that. We don't need all that. Sport package, yeah, I still want that sport package. If, as long as it's not going to make me remove something. Yeah, well, I, yeah, move something I want, right? Let's do that because I think the sport package is awesome. Um, oh, yeah, that looks good. Uh, the black ice package. Oh, they got, they got, they're running a sale on the black ice package. <laughs> the radiant package, yeah. Exterior, now we're back to the same old stuff. The tires, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, engine block heater, sure, why not? I don't know what the hundred. I don't know what the benefit of the amp is gonna do. Oh, that's for the trailering thing. Okay, never mind. Yeah, got it. Trailering package. We don't need all that because whatever. Uh, this we got ours with a with a package. Our wheel locks. Uh, we've got the steps because that came with the sport package. We do want the uh, molded splash guards, and I think we skipped over the rest of this LED lamps. LED headlamps. Oh, this doesn't come with it. Well, let's option it. But see. The whole deal is Bose, da, 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 Cadillac use it with embedded. Yeah, we'll do that. Remove, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Give us that. We'll add the front parking, quartering lights, and the upgraded bows and all that. We'll do that. What's our price going to go up to? I guess we'll catch it in a second. We'll see it in a second. It's up high. Um, clear tail lamps. I just don't like that. Interior stuff. We've got the upgrade interior there. Um... Do we need to ventilate it in passenger seat stuff? No, because that's with the plum package. We're not going to mess with that. We got the pedals and all of that. None of this other stuff we're going to want. I'm just going to scroll through it because you never know what I might have missed. And maybe I might catch it. So I don't think this time we're going to do any of the emergency safety kit stuff. And we're going to skip over that stuff. Uh, accessories. No, there's none of that stuff. But it's always worth looking because I might catch something. Uh, and then we're going to go to summary. So where are we at on this? We are at... Where are we at on this? Uh, hang on. Ah, uh, you know what it is. There's say C dealer for pricing because I selected those lights. So let's go back to. Let me go. Hold on. 
It was right here. It was LED headlamps because it said C dealer for pricing. So that threw the whole thing off. I'm going to uncheck those LED lights, right? So even though it wouldn't give us a price, but it knows that the price change is going to be that. So let's hit that. All right. Um, and just double check. We should have everything. Hang on. Let me double check, and then I'll see you over at the summary. Okay. All our stuff was there. All right. So the standard price was 49000 we did that. We did the white, uh, the crystal white tri coat. That's why we spent twelve twenty five in, um, in paint. Five thousand dollars in options, driver awareness package, advanced security package, and then what? That sport interior protection package, and then the sport package. So we got four packages for five thousand um, dollars, and then we did thirteen, almost fourteen hundred dollars, thirteen fifty in options, basically. Uh, little nickel and dime stuff. Engine block heater. Um, the Cadillac navigation, uh, stuff like that. Uh, so that was that. So out the door price for us anyway, uh, fifty five thousand six fifty five. I'm gonna go ahead and print this one. And we're gonna move on to the next trim level. Okay, so we just got done with the luxury. Let's go to the premium luxury now. With the premium luxury, yeah, we know we gotta change it. The premium luxury. See, on the luxury, we just had to add the the bow system, right? We added it when we messed around with that plum interior. <laughs> um, but I would have optioned it anyway. Um, but now we get it, right? It's $56,000. Now we get it, 14, 14 speakers. You get the queue with the navigation. We get the driver awareness package with the safety alert seat and all that other good stuff, the front collision warning, all that other stuff. LED headlamps are now here. They're now included. That's why I was saying the premium luxury, really, I still like the platinum. That's my version, but I think the premium luxury gives most people the stuff that they want. Lighting accent along the console and doors, that ambient lighting. You got the 20-inch wheels. You got the performance suspension. And you got a rear seat reminder thing, which is like if you got stuff in, something back there, it'll remind you when you get turn off the car or something. Uh, oh, mechanical. Oh, they still don't tell us uh, the torque and all that. All right, so uh, the premium luxury. Of course, we're getting an all-wheel drive. It still remembered that. Uh, colors. You know, I still like the crystal white tricoat. That's my color. That that really is my color. I do like the um, I do like that red passion tent coat. I think that's interesting. But I mean, if I'm gonna keep it real, the crystal white tri coat is my color for the Cadillacs, just in general, more more or less. The carbon plum is interesting, but we're not doing that. We're just gonna stick with the jet black interior, right? You just can't go wrong with that. The driver assistance package gives us a automatic safety belt tightening, adaptive cruise control, automatic parking assist, forward automatic braking, right? Is there more to that? Yeah, that was everything. And and Ford reverse automatic braking, right? I want that package. Let's select it, all right? Uh, that's going to add $1,600 basically to the, to, the, to the build. Advanced security package, yeah, I still want that. I still want that stuff. Yep, $450. I still want the interior protection package. And then, of course, I still want the um, sport package if they offer it to us. Yeah, I want that package too. Um, so now we're at 60, 61,000, just over that. And we can't go get those other packages. We're not going to get the other wheels. Uh, we'll do that engine hot block here. Why not? Um, as long as nothing's hanging out of the car or something like that, looking ugly, then I'm fine with it. The molded splash guards, we're going to do those. And then, yeah, we got all that safety stuff. Interior, we're going to, uh, we got the good cue. Rear protect. We don't need any of that stuff. We got the good stuff. Uh, we don't need any of that stuff. Cabin filter. Da, 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 da. Oh, I forgot that on the other ones. Illuminated front door sills. I forgot that on that other one. Yeah, and the sill plate. I like that stuff. See, that's why I keep doing it because I just forget sometimes. It all sometimes it all blurs together. Uh, and then all that stuff, that exterior stuff. No, no, no. Right, there was nothing there either. Uh, no. No, uh, no, not that stuff. And no. All right, summary. $62,000 for this. So this was about, what, $4,000 more than the other one? But you got a lot more stuff, really. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and print this one. It's going to have all this stuff on there. It's going to have the whole breakdown itemized view. So I don't even need to do that because when I print this, remember, all these links are in the description. So you can just grab that. I'm going to print it. We're going to move on to the last one, which is the platinum. All right, now we're back for the last one, the platinum. Right, that automatically gives us basically everything we've been optioning, honestly. 
uh let's just reiterate here's the here's here's the full here's the full deal here i'm not gonna read them all uh but here's the full deal you know you got that heads-up display you got the reconfigure what eight inch gauge cluster you know you got the unique 20 inch wheels you got the stainless steel skid plates you got the unique platinum grill and exhaust i mean it's 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 hot you got the rear seat reminders already there the camera mirror the hands-free lift gate the micro suede headliner if you're a guy like me that that, that likes the high-end german stuff and, and you're really feeling the cadillac stuff though the platinums man the platinum trims are always hot they always give you everything in the kitchen sink man basically basically all right colors I'm sticking with my color and it's cheaper on this one I'm sticking with my color right not really it's not really cheaper uh Maple brown sugar, I think it looks awesome, but I'm sticking with the black. All right, let's go to the black interior. It looks hot, hot. Uh, driver assistance package. I think it should be included, but yeah, give it to me. Uh, boom, driver assistance package. Yep, got it. Interior protection package. You know it. You know it. We. I guess we need some uh, premium carpeted uh, floor mats, too. I've been forgetting to grab, but I'm not going to forget it on the platinum. Uh, you can be sure of that. Oh, no sport package on the platinum. Okay. Uh, not surprising. The exterior, we got those special wheels. Uh, the assist steps, right? We'll take that. Uh, a little more a la carte looks like here. Uh, all the safety stuff is there. Um, we need the premium carpeted floor mats. I want the sport pedal covers, even though it didn't say anything about a sport option. Uh, illuminated cargo sill. So the door, the doors are already done. The doors are done, and I think we might be done. I think we might be done. Uh, let's go to accessories. And now I know we are. Yeah, we don't want anything here, or here, or here, or here, here, nor here. Oh, not there either, and not there. Okay, summary. All right. So just a few that, just a few thousand dollars more. And you know these deal, the Cadillac dealers are always wheeling and dealing. So anyway, sixty-three thousand. So sixty-three thousand dollars for this thing, and it only costs it costs us another uh, three thousand ish dollars to option this thing up. All right, the color costs us six hundred, eighteen hundred, seventy-five dollars in options, fifteen hundred in package options, and other nickel miscellaneous options, fifteen hundred dollars and change. So I'm gonna go ahead and print this off. And I'm gonna wrap this video up. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate that. You're awesome. Um, thanks for joining me. And if you found this helpful. Or entertaining you had to have if you're here please subscribe subscribe there's a little icon right here in the corner you see it you've been looking at it the whole time uh click it if you haven't already i appreciate that new subscriber i really would and you're gonna get great content because i'm gonna keep serving this up right i got got a lot more left in me i'm gonna keep serving this up all right so i'm gonna wrap this up thanks for joining me have a wonderful day